Hello, this is me, I'm just me, yet again with another video about the Bullystorm 60 Amps ESC. Uh, the reason that I'm making this video is because yesterday I posted a out of the box review and somebody asked me how do you get this calibrated. Um, and I was gonna uh, put this in the initial review but I had to cut it out because of the length of the video. So this is just a plain box, um, I'm gonna show you everything you need to calibrate this system. Uh, and how it works. So first up, obviously, the electronic speed control itself, not a problem at all, because you already have that. Next up is a motor. I'm using the Easy Run 9 turn finned motor, but it doesn't really matter. It's just for calibration. So put it off to the side. Uh, obviously we need a receiver to connect, this is a standard 27 MHz Traxxas radio system. It is something that I have laying around, I don't want to rip the 2.4 GHz system out of one of my cars. Um, just really annoying to do that, just for one small video. Uh, next up, a radio. This is the um, radio that I got with my Rustler, it's the 27 MHz version, but it has been working quite nicely. And last but not least is a battery pack, not a problem at all. I'm using this with a 2S LiPo, which I kind of lost, it's right over here. The 2S LiPo, 5000 milliamps. Um, yeah, it should work. So, next up, connect everything you have together. So you get your motor and your ESC, and plug those wires in, I'm actually doing this off the screen is kind of iffy because you don't have a very good depth of field. So those are connected in a proper way as you can see. Next up you take the uh, receiver wire which is this one. You will plug that into the receiver box which I got laying over here. Now this receiver uses channel 2 for the throttle which is kind of normal. Um, so plug that right in and then we're set. Apart from the battery so make sure the ESC is turned off, my currently is turned off, and then connect the battery. There we go, let's put everything over here. Now, um, next the manual will tell you to turn on the transmitter, so let's do that. And then, while well, holding down the set button, which is a very very small button on the edge of the ESC, let me see if I can get it for you, there it is. You have three of the motor wire wires and next to that is a very small red button that is the set button and we're going to use that a lot at this very moment. So in order to calibrate or start the calibration process you need to hold down the set button, make sure your transmitter is turned on like I said and turn on the system. Now if everything works correctly the fan should turn and I will hear a beeping sound coming from the motor and the red LED will be flashing. So let's press the set button and turn it on. And as you might have noticed the fan has started working but I don't see any red lights coming out of the ESC and I definitely don't hear any sound from the motor. So let's try that again, maybe I didn't press the set button right. Press it really good this time. Turn on the ESC. What's that? Nothing happens. Our transmitter is turned on. It is the right transmitter for the right case. The crystals are working fine. I know this for a fact. So I started fiddling around. Okay, this question of calibrating might not have been a very weird question to ask. Because I did it. But how did I do it? I don't know. It worked the first time I did it. And it was calibrated. And now it isn't calibrated. And I can't seem to get it working again. Aha, but there has been made one change since the first time I calibrated this until the second one. And that's the battery. If I plug this, off, or actually unplug this, um, I have a old 3S LiPo. This is a very, very big one. I don't use this for my cars anymore. I have another 3S, but it's just about uh, the idea. Um, so it's the same brand, it's a really bad brand, don't really buy those batteries, but they're very cheap. Plug it in, let's repeat the pro process, 
of holding down the set button. Transmitter is still turned on, it's not turned off at any point. And turn on the ESC. And for some magical reason it, it works right now. You can see that the LED is flashing right there. You can definitely hear the motor beeping and the fan is making a really loud noise. So that's beeping. If I press the set button once, there will be a, a green LED flashing once. That means that I have to press the throttle all the way. Just squeeze it as hard as you can and press the set button. Uh, the motor will give you two beeps and two LEDs will flash, meaning that you can uh, release the throttle and pull back, full brake, apply full brake at this point, and then press the set button. It will beep three times and then you can release the throttle and press it for the last time. And your ESC is set up, it's calibrated, it's working like a charm. So let's turn it off because this fan is really really annoying. So for some magical reason uh, it works with a 3S LiPo, it doesn't work with a 2S LiPo, I don't know why that is. It's the weirdest thing ever. Um, it's just really annoying, uh, so if you don't have a 3S LiPo you're kinda out of luck with this one. Um, in my case it just doesn't work. Um, to be brutally honest, I do have another 2S LiPo somewhere, but I don't know where it is so I can't really test it. Let me tell you what. Let's take this thing right here. It's a 6 cell 7.2 volts battery, which has been laying around for a very, very long time. Um, and this battery is completely drained. It's dead. It doesn't do anything. It's the first battery I got for my RC cars. So I get about 5 minutes of runtime out of this. Let's see if this one works just for fun so do you see dust turn on I don't have any power <laughs> maybe if I turn on the transmitter no nothing weird nothing at all but let's see if I can calibrate it no I can't so it does seem you really need a 3S LiPo or no not more because you will ruin the EC you just need a 3S LiPo in my case and that's the weirdest thing ever. So I hope this helped and if not I don't really know how you can calibrate it any other way because I had spent 10 minutes just figuring out why it wouldn't work and the battery was just some last resort and it somehow worked but it's just the stupidest thing ever. So if you have any more questions please ask, um, do know I can't answer all of them. I still haven't driven the system, I'm still waiting, waiting for the last packages to arrive, I'm rebuilding one of my cars in which I'm gonna install this just to see how it works. And after that I will give you a full review, although I'm not uh, somebody who owns a lot of systems. I do have an easy run, a XL5 and that's about it with this one. <laughs> I can't compare it to any good uh, Castle Creation, Member Max, Mas Monsters or anything. I will just give you an, uh, my opinion about uh, this system, is it worth your money? And so far it is, except for a few minor bugs and uh, stupid things actually. Uh, yeah, that's it. See you later.